Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to my video today. The tale of my two beanies. One knitted, one crochet. So a couple of videos back I showed you some knitting needles I'd acquired from Skein Sisters, New South Wales, Australia. They were larger sizes. My knitting needle equipment doesn't go past or didn't past five millimeter. I've never really had an ambition to use bigger sizes. But these were discounted and there was a project I wanted to make. Now, one of my subscribers left a comment and they guessed which project I was buying the knitting needles for. And of course, it's the Bush Tracker Beanie by Urban Yarn, Gary. I've seen him um, model and show us a few of these and I really liked it. So when he released the pattern, I really wanted to make it. And I thought... Well, there's no harm increasing my equipment of knitting needles to larger sizes. While I was waiting for them to arrive from New South Wales, Crystal from Bag o Day released a beanie pattern, which is sort of like a look-alike beanie of the Bush Tracker hat, um, with Gary's permission, of course. And I thought, well, I might as well crochet that up while I'm waiting for the knitting needles. So I got out my spotlight Prince Saver yarn. This is a four weight yarn. It's 100% acrylic. This color is Aqua Mix. And I got some plain yarn out, which was Peacock. And this is my finished product of Crystal's tutorial. I wanted the plain to show the definition on the um, herringbone stitch. Now, I will put this on, but remember, I do not suit hats. So no rude comments about how I look in a hat. But there you go. It fits. It's probably just a little big for me. I like mine really tight. But this is really nice. It used a 5mm crochet hook. Um, it was really easy to make and I ripped it up in a couple of hours. So yes, that was the one I made while waiting for the knitting needles. The knitting needles arrived. Oh, in that one I used 153 metres, which is 167 yards of yarn, just in case you're interested. So the knitting needles arrived and I started on the Bush Tracker Beanie pattern. Now for this one I used wool spun. This is a bulky weight yarn. That's something else I don't do a lot of use bulky weight yarns but I had this in my stash these are 85 gram balls and I had two and I used one and a bit so I used um, 108 yard 108 meters 113 yards in the wool spun and my finished beanie is this one I'll put it on to show you there you go. This probably fits a little better. It's a bit firmer and it does feel really nice. I didn't color control the color at all. The color I used for this is Quarry Print and it's just one yarn. Now this is Thing's favorite but this one is Reeve's favorite. I like them both. You tell me which one you like. If you like the crocheted or the knitted or both. But I think they're both great. So with the knitted one, I did, because I hadn't used big needles before, and I don't use bulky yarn a lot, I did have a few hand aches with the herringbone section, changing the needles, and it took me a bit longer, mainly because I lack experience using those needles and that sort of weight yarn. But other than that, the finished product is lovely so would I make them again yes both of them in a heartbeat this for a quick beanie that's stylish this for a guy if I had the time I probably won't keep these I'll either give them away to charity or sell them on my store although I think thing is going to claim this one he really likes these colors and the way it turned out So that's pretty much it, the tale of my two hats. Um, they're both lovely. They're both uh, beautiful finished projects when you, and you feel quite an accomplishment when you've made them. 
Um, I got to use some of my yarns up. This was just stash yarn for the Scorched Earth Challenge, which is always a bonus. So if you're a knitter, come over to the dark side and crochet a beanie. It's really easy and her tutorial is great. If you're a crocheter, you should come over to the scary dark side and learn how to knit this beanie. I'm sure with help with the links that Gary puts in his pattern, you could make this. Your only problem being is we may not let you back into the crochet world. We knitters like to hang on to our newbies. So thank you to Gary from Urban Yarn and Crystal from Bag A Day. Um, not everything in life is free, but this is a free pattern from Gary and her tutorials are free. Links to both of these will be in the description below if you want to give them a go. Um, that's about it, guys. I've had a ball doing this. I thought it was really great to be able to do one crocheted, one knitted and see what how they turned out and what people think. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Take care of each other. Stay safe and have a crafty day making beanies. Bye for now.